So to create the icon, um, probably the, the easier way to do it, if you've already got some programs installed that can create pings or GIFs, would be to just make a ping or GIF icon. Um, because a lot of newer browsers do support pings and GIFs as the icon, the fab icon icon. Um, obviously, it needs to be the right size, so 16 by 16 or 32 by 32. Um, and there's actually other sizes that, that it can be used as, as well, depending on the context. For example, if you're saving a uh, website as a shortcut on your desktop, it might be using a, a bigger size than 32 by 32. But you definitely want to make sure that it works in 16 by 16 and 32 by 32, because there are a lot of browsers that only support that. And if you have anything bigger, it just won't work. If you do create your icon as something other than the icon format, like the Windows icon format, you need to make sure that you give the right MIME type. Um, so your server will probably send it with the right MIME type automatically, but you'll also need to specify in the link that we talked about a second ago, the MIME type with the type attribute. Um, just a note here, um, I'm recommending you use the image slash X icon MIME type, which is actually the older MIME type for this. Um, I think in 2003, Microsoft uh, was, uh, well, no, it was actually the W3C uh, came up with a new standard for, for how to do this. And because it's a, a Microsoft functionality, this is vendor, is what VND stands for. And so this points out that this is a, a, a specific to Microsoft format, but this is the one that you should be using for all five icons, uh, this MIME type, uh, after 2003. But I like to use the old one because it still works because browsers are backwards compatible and because I'm not completely sure that this new one won't cause problems in older browsers. So maybe in a couple of years I'll start using this one, but for now I'm just going to stick with this MIME type for the icon, although you will see this as well. Um, so another thing to point out is that if you are creating pings or GIFs instead of the icon uh, file type, you may be missing out on some functionality because a lot of program icon creation programs will actually make one file that has multiple sizes. So if you have a 16 by 16, 32 by 32, 64 by 64, all these different sizes um, bundled into one, then the browser that can only handle 16 by 16 will just get that and, and load that correctly. But if your browser can handle higher resolutions, then it actually will use the higher resolutions in that single image file or icon file. And according to the context, and you won't get these little 16 by 16 icons that get blown up into much bigger than they were ever meant to be and look very pixelated. 